can't believe Dassel's getting married either. I'm saying yes to the dress. Carl, where are the rings? Her wedding is ruined. I don't think I can do it. I feel nauseous. Here she comes. Jeffrey, you may kiss your bride. Ew! Mmm! You're watching TT Toys and Dolls. This wedding dress is beautiful, but I don't know if it's my style. Wedding dress shopping is harder than I thought. <sighs> Carl, you can't chew gum here at the bridal shop. You can get it on one of the dresses. That's true, Carl. If you get your gum on one of the dresses, you're gonna be in big, big trouble. Fine. Ew, did you just swallow the gum? What else could I have done? Can't believe Dazzle is all grown up. <laughs> I can't believe my little girl is all grown up and getting married. <laughs> I know, Mom. I can't believe Dazzle's getting married either. Why is everyone crying? Aren't weddings supposed to be like happy? Uh huh. So why is mom like a snot fest? She keeps crying and blowing her nose so loud. It kind of yucks. It is happy moment, Carl. It's just emotional. What do I have to do with this whole wedding dress shopping, mom? This is so boring. Because you're part of the wedding. I just want to go home and play Minecraft. Maid of honor, I need your help. Someone has to help me with the dresses. Neonlicious, that means you. Come on, little sister. You have to help me choose a perfect wedding dress. Oh, yeah, sorry, Dassel. She's kind of becoming a bride Scylla. <laughs> Let me know if you want to try on any of her wedding dresses. The dressing room is right over here. We have some bridal magazines, some purses, some sample cakes, our dress of the month, some bouquets, and of course some beautiful crowns and crystal presents. And if you guys have some pets at home, we have special outfits for your big day for them. Thank you so much, and I will. I need to try on at least 20 dresses before finding the perfect dress and saying yes to the dress. Come on, Neon, I need you to hold all the dresses. Neonlicious, you're my maid of honor. You need to make sure that everything is perfect for the wedding. <sighs> it's a big responsibility. Why are those cats dressed up like that? That's weird. Some people dress up their pets for their weddings. There is no way I'm dressing up in fancy clothes for this wedding. No way. I'm going to wear a pretty dress because I'm going to be the flower girl. And I get to throw flowers around before Dazzle comes in the wedding. Count me out. I am not going to wear a tuxedo. I will not wear a tuxedo. No way, no how, no chance. Here you go, Carl. Time to try on your outfit. Oh, I can't believe they're making me wear a tuxedo. Carl, you look so amazing. You look really nice, Carl. I do look kind of swaggy. So what is this ring bearer thing? What, it, what in the world is that? Carl, you have a really important job. Your job is to walk down the aisle with this little pillow carrying the wedding rings. Aren't like the rings a big part of the wedding? They sure are, and you're in charge. That, that's a big responsibility. I'm, I'm not even that responsible. Well, we all have to be there for Dassel, and that's your job. Now you can practice carrying this pillow. Here. OMG, this is heavy. What if I balance it on my head? A ring bear? Why would anybody trust Carl with the rings? I don't understand. Neonlicious, I need your help. I'm coming, Dazzle. Look at all the pretty bouquets. I just love weddings. Oh, look at all these tiaras and crowns and jewelry. Okay, Neon, I want to try on this dress and this one, this one, this one, this one. Whoa, a little help here. There's all these like cakes just hanging around. They look delicious. What if I just try the frosting real quick? It won't hurt. I'll do it from the back. Carl, those cakes are not real. They're made out of wax. Pit, pit, pit. Ew, pit. That was pit disgusting. Okay, everyone. The time has come. I'm going to be trying on all these beautiful
beautiful dresses. Okay, what do you guys think about this dress? It's beautiful. You look like a princess. It's gorgeous, sweetheart. What about this dress? This is way more my style, don't you think? This is really pretty too, sister. I don't know. They all look great. How will I ever decide? Okay, I have a couple more to try on. When are we done, Mom? I want to go home. Carl, we need to help your sister find her perfect dress. Neon Cutie, that will be your flower girl dress. Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you. I'll try it on. Okay, how about this one? Um, it's not my favorite. Why not? It's so pretty and different. Yeah, I mean, if you like it, but I think the other ones look better. Oh, you hate it? No, no, Dazzle. I, I didn't say I hated it, sister. I just think the other ones are much, I don't know, prettier. <gasps> Fine. Yeah, she's totally becoming a bride, Scylla. I heard that, Neolicious. Okay, what do you guys think about this one? It's gorgeous. It's beautiful, Dazzle. It's so pretty. Okay, I think it's between this one and the first one. Finally, we're getting somewhere. I just want to go home already. Oh. oh, Neon Cutie, your flower girl dress looks so cute. Okay, guys, I think this is it. I'm saying yes to the dress. It looks beautiful, Dazzle. How about these earrings? Oh, they're perfect. I love them. I love them. Dazzle, the only thing left is for you to choose the bouquet that you're going to throw at the end of the ceremony. Oh, this one is just beautiful. I want this one. Wonderful choice. Okay, cake check. Flowers check. More flowers. The sitting areas. Red carpet. Neon cutie. Yes, Neon. Okay, so you're all ready to be a flower girl, right? Remember what I told you? You need to walk down this red carpet and then just sprinkle flowers around and smile. But I'm really nervous. Everyone's gonna be looking at me. Of course they are. You are the flower girl and you need to look cute and sweet. But you know, I don't like when people stare at me. You know, I get stage fright. Neon cutie, this is not the same as a stage. You just have to walk. Smile and throw little flowers. I don't think I can do it. I feel nauseous. Oh, great. And where's Carl? He should already be here. I'm here. Carl, those are not the shoes we set out for you. I know, but those other her shoes were like hurting, and I like these better. These are much more comfy. Uh, fine, whatever. Where are the rings? And the pillow I gave you. Um, uh, the pillow's right over there. Here's a pillow, Neonlicious. Carl, where are the rings? You asked me to bring the pillow. You didn't say anything about the rings. Carl, are you trying to tell me that you lost the wedding bands? I didn't lose them. I put them somewhere. Wait a second. Anyway, who, who had the great idea of giving me the rings? Oh, great. Wait till Dazzle finds out about this. Her wedding is ruined. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Beautiful! Neonlicious, everything looks amazing! Mom, we have a problem! What? Carl! Carl lost the rings! I am the worst maid of honor in the world! Oh no, no, sweetheart, don't worry! Your dad has the rings! I could not trust your little brother with the rings! Now, the guests should be arriving soon! And the ceremony should be starting! Sorry for the confusion! Here are the rings! Okay, I promise I'll be responsible now. I promise. No more kidding around. Hey, Carl, looking good. They got you wearing a tux, too. Yeah, and I guess you could say I'm kind of excited to have a brother. Me too, little buddy. High five. Okay, Dazzle, this is it. Daddy, you look so nice, all dressed up. Okay, Neon Cutie, you can do this. Do it for Dazzle. Here she comes. We are gathered here today to celebrate the union of Dazzle and Jeffrey.
Dazzle, do you take Jeffrey as your husband? I do. Jeffrey, do you take Dazzle as your wedded wife? I do. Jeffrey, you may kiss your bride. Ew! Finally, it's time for some cake! Here you go, Carl. You deserve a really big piece. Mmm! This cake is delicious! 